Hey guys, this is Sean from Shanagar.com and in this video we are going to perform a benchmarking test comparison between HTC Desire 10 Pro and HTC Uplay smartphone. Both these devices they come with Helio P10 processor 4 GB of RAM, Mali 860 GPU, Android 6 Marshmallow OS and 64 GB of internal storage. So let's just start our benchmarking test and let's see that which device is going to perform better. Today we are having these 5 benchmarking applications and out of these 5 we have already performed 4 of them to save your time and we will just compare the scores. And the 5th one, the last one we will do right here in front of you. So let's just start it. So let's just start with the Android benchmarking which is one of the most popular benchmarking test and application and here we are having the scores for these two devices so for HTC Uplay it is 54,188 and for HTC Desire 10 Pro it is 77,138 so you can see that even though both these two devices they are having the exact same hardware the performance of Desire 10 Pro is better for some reason and the difference is huge somehow so in the Android benchmarking test as you can see the winner is HTC Desire 10 Pro here and now let's go back and let's have a look on Basemark OS 2 and let's have a look on this course directly So in this test the winner is HTC Uplay. It is scored 1049 and HTC Desire 10 Pro it is scored 931. And in the individual test we can see the performance of Desire 10 Pro is better in few tests and performance of Uplay is better in few tests. For system it is pretty much same also for graphics and web browsing it's uh, nearly same for both these two devices but for memory Desire 10 Pro scored just 793 and uh, Uplay scored 1241 and this is what contributed in the overall score of HTC Uplay so in Basemark OS 2 the winner is HTC Uplay and now let's go back and the third test is Basemark X so basically it is a gaming benchmarking test so here we are having this score already for Uplay and here is the score for Desire 10 Pro so you can see that both these two devices they scored pretty much same Desire 10 Pro scored 14,371 and Uplay scored 14,465 so the difference is very very minute um, Uplay is the winner with around 85 uh, marks more in the in the score but uh, it's quite same but still if you're talking about the digits the numbers the winner is Uplay here even the winning score is the difference is very less so out of these three tests in two tests the winner is Uplay and now let's go to the Geekbench 4 here we have performed this test as well so we will have a look on the scores directly here so Geekbench 4 is divided in two parts the first one is CPU and here is the score for CPU test for single core HTC Uplay scored 743 and for multi core it is scored 2854 and if you have a look on Desire 10 Pro for single core the score is 720 and for multi-core the score is 2913 so as we can see that there is not much difference between these two devices but in one test for the single core the performance of HTC Uplay is better and for multi-core the performance of Desire 10 Pro is better though the difference is not much in these two tests for both of these two devices so we can say that it is a bit tie here because uh, both of these two devices they won one of the tests and the another test is compute 
let's have a look on it here so in this test the winner is HTC Desire N Pro it is scored 2220 and uh, our Uplay it is scored 1512 so we can say that in Geekbench 4 the winner is Desire N Pro because uh, out of 3 it performed better in 2 tests so out of 4 right now in 2 of them the winner is Desire N Pro and in 2 of them the winner is you play and the next test is quadrant standard we will do this test right here in front of you so once the test is finished we will have a look on this course So the tests are finished let's have a look on this course now so desired and pro it is scored 20,075 here and uh, you play it is scored 21,854 so in this test as well the winner is our HTC you play so out of five tests the winner is HTC you play in three and in two of them the winner is desired and pro so basically both of these two devices they are having the exact same processor the same gpu same amount of ram and same os as well so the performance should be similar of these two devices and that is why both of them giving tough competition to each other in these benchmarking tests and scoring pretty much similar with respect to each other so both of these two devices they are very nice devices and so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands on videos like this and you can also get in touch with me on twitter facebook and instagram by visiting the links given in the description of this video so that's all for now i will see you guys in an another video have a nice day